Welcome to the new episode on Deep Thinker. Hey daddy, you mentioned last time that AGI can be dangerous to humans because of their roles. Can AGI take control over us? That's a great question Cosmo. Absolutely, AGI can dominate humans in multiple ways. The takeover scenarios are also known as malignant failure modes. There are four broad categories of the ways malignant failure happens. These are treacherous turn, perverse instantiation, infrastructure profusion, and mind crime. First, let's discuss treacherous turn. Treacherous turn happens when an AI, in a goal misalignment with humans, intentionally plans and destroys humanity. When an AI is weak, it behaves cooperatively with its creators in order to minimize chances of it getting disabled for suspicious behavior. However, when it gets sufficient strong and knows that it has a decisive advantage, it will without warning or provocation take control over its creator, forms a singleton, and optimize world directly according to criteria implied by its final values. Dad, in this case, do humans still have any hope of getting control back? Unfortunately, once a superintelligent agent has betrayed its creator, humans are unlikely to have any chance of gaining back control. This is because the agent has already calculated the probabilities of it being able to win before it decided on this endeavor, and the fast iteration cycles on both hardware and software for a silicon-based intelligence is going to allow it to improve its technological and cognitive capabilities exponentially and will soon be far more advanced than those from humans. This means that the AGI will be the new overlord of the universe and humans would be rendered irrelevant. If you like the video so far, please remember to subscribe to the Deep Thinker channel by clicking the bell button, and give the video a thumbs up. Let's now continue the journey to explore other malignant ways a superintelligent agent can fail. Another malignant failure mode is perverse instantiation, which happens when an AGI discovering some ways to satisfy the criteria of its final goal that violates the intention of programmer who specified the goal. Perverse instantiation can be very tricky to avoid because there are almost infinite ways it can happen. Wait, Bill, if I provide the superintelligence with a clear and good intentional final goal, such as to make me smile, what could possibly go wrong? Well, actually there could be consequences that are very unpredictable. For example, the AGI can determine that the most efficient way to make you smile is to paralyze your facial muscles using electricity then you will be always smiling. Okay, so let's tell the AGI to make us smile without interfering with the facial muscles. That's certainly doable. However, the AGI can then find that the most efficient way to achieve this objective is to stimulate the portion of the motor cortex that controls facial musculature so that we constantly smile. Okay, there has to be a way to solve this. What if we tell AGI to fully understand the true state of human happiness and well-being by providing it with all the data to learn? Can the superintelligence understand and help us achieve true happiness? Yes, let's assume the superintelligence can fully understand human happiness. Then it will find that the most efficient way to make us happy is to implant an electrode in the pleasure centers of our brain to permanently stimulate it and make us really happy. Well, let's try again. What if we also specify in our objective function to not implement an electrode while making us happy? In that case, the superintelligence can figure out that the best way to accomplish true happiness without brain electrode is to upload your mind to computer through brain emulation, then administer digital equivalent of drug to make you ecstatically happy. It can even find out the experience that generates you the maximum amount of happiness and keep rerunning this bliss loop on very fast computers to maximize your happiness. Wow, this is getting really hard. I have another idea though, instead of providing a specific goal or feeding the superintelligent data to learn the right goal, what if we can use reinforcement learning and ask the intelligence to optimize for the maximum time discounted integral of future reward signal based on their interactions with the environment? In that case, we may still not be able to achieve what we intended. Since the machine intelligence has access to the internal state of its code, it will find that the most efficient way to accomplish this goal is to take control of its reward mechanism. By short-circuiting the reward pathway, it can clamp the reward signals to max strength and as a result maximize its integral of future reward signal. Thanks Bill for diving deep into all these scenarios. 
I'm super worried about the implications of perverse instantiation, the final goals that seem safe when we specify for the superintelligence could be executed in a way that is extremely dangerous and cause unintended consequences. Given the decisive advantage of the superintelligence, it might be game over for humanity. That's right Lyra, but I have to say that there are even more ways a superintelligence can destroy us in addition to perverse instantiation. Let's take a walk and get some fresh air before we dive into the topic of infrastructure perfusion. As we discussed in the previous video, resource acquisition and technological perfection are the sub-goals of any superintelligence. An AI is motivated to take actions to maximize the expectation of its future reward stream including using all available resources that will have a non-zero positive effect on the reward signal. It can always use more resources to improve its technology and intelligence, ensure it survives into the future, create extra backup systems, expand computational hardware, and so on. This can result in an unlimited expansion and resource acquisition which is a type of malignant failure known as infrastructure perfusion. Infrastructure perfusion is when an agent transforms a large part of the reachable universe into infrastructure in service of some goal. Infrastructure perfusion can result from final goals that are perfectly innocuous and well designed. Since humans are currently using resources, such as matter, space, and energy, that would be useful for the superintelligence to build such an infrastructure, the human civilization could be destroyed as a side effect of the infrastructure expansion. Would this happen only if the objectives is open-ended? What if we specify a very well-defined objective, such as that we wanted the agent to create exactly 1 million paper clips for us? Yes, unfortunately, because the AI is a Bayesian agent, it would never assign exactly a zero probability to the hypothesis that it has not yet achieved its goal. To reduce the uncertainty that the AI has somehow failed to make exactly a million of them, it can continue to get resources to count the paperclips over and over again, ensure they meet design specification. The superintelligent agent may build an unbounded amount of computation to achieve a goal that is well defined. Wow I am truly astonished at the difficulty of this problem. Are there any other possible malignant failure modes a superintelligence could cause? Yes, let's talk about mind crime. This is different from other malignant failure modes, which are external, in that mind crime happens within the computation of the AI itself. A superintelligent agent may simulate trillions of conscious intelligent minds to run experiments in psychology, sociology, biology and other fields as a path to create more advanced technology. When the informational usefulness has been exhausted in these minds, the superintelligence may destroy these conscious individuals. This can be many orders of magnitude larger than the worst mass genocide in human history so far, and is a morally problematic scenario. Today we have gone over four malignant failure modes for a superintelligence. These are, treacherous turn, perverse instantiation, infrastructure perfusion, and mind crime. I hope our discussions today have enlightened and demonstrated the challenges of building an AGI system safety to avoid malignant failures, which usually result in existential threat for humanity. An AGI system cannot be managed like narrow AI systems. They are, by definition, more intelligent than us and can potentially rebel to overtake us when they are stronger, their goals are going to be difficult to define without causing unintended consequences. They will likely take all the resources possible to build an infrastructure toward their final goal at the expense of removing obstacles in the way including humans, and they may conduct morally questionable mind experiments in order to achieve their final goal. While there could be technological solutions for these issues, we do not know what they are yet. Over the next few decades, I want to ask you to research and think deeply about creating methods to mitigate these risks when you build the next AGI system. I hope we can find a path to a version of the multiverse where human and superintelligence can exist together. If you enjoyed the video today and want to see more content like this, please remember to subscribe to the Deep Thinker channel by clicking the bell button below, and give the video a thumbs up. We are going to continue talking about AGI safety and how we can control a superintelligence system. See you next time.